Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on Google Cloud. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a service account and assign the roles. In this video, we are going to set up a Java project. You will see that I am already inside the Eclipse editor and I have created a project called that Spring Cloud GCP. Inside this project, uh, we are using Maven as our build tool and hence we have pom.xml inside uh, this particular project you will see that there are two main dependencies that I have added the very first dependency is the spring cloud gcp starter storage and the second dependency is the spring boot starter web yes we are going to write simple spring controllers in order to demonstrate the cloud storage functionality now you might have a question that how to speed up this particular process of generating a pom.xml because you don't remember all the dependencies don't worry just visit start.spring.io this is very helpful site whenever you are going to create a new spring boot project make sure that instead of writing pom.xml from the scratch you visit the site because it is going to generate the pom.xml file automatically or your spring boot project automatically what i've done is that i've selected the language as java and then uh, i selected the very latest version of the spring boot in my case it is 2.1.8 then change the group name, the artifact name, and the most important section is the dependencies. This is the section wherein you are going to add the list of dependencies. In our case, since we are going to explicitly work with the Google Cloud Storage, let's just type GCP Storage in this particular text box. It will bring up a suggestion. Click this plus sign. And then since we are going to create the rest Controllers for our project, we will select Spring Web as another option. This includes the web, it includes RESTful APIs and lot of other options, uh, the MVC as well. So I'll click this plus sign again so that the new dependency will get added. And finally, click generate the project button. This will create the required pom.xml, it will create the required Spring Boot project structure and it will download it as a zip file. Simply copy that zip file and extract it to a, your preferred location and then import that location inside your Eclipse. I have already done all of those steps, so I'm not going to repeat that. That's all required in order to set up your Eclipse project. Now let's move ahead to the another important thing, the application.properties file. This contains a definition of one of the key value pair. What I've done is that I created a property as spring.cloud.gcp.credentials.location and I assigned a value as class path colon slash gcp credentials.json. So if you remember, uh, in the very first video, we created this JSON file. I just imported that same JSON file inside SRC main resources and I renamed that particular file. This is a file which is very much required in order to connect to the GCP services and authenticate your program with the gcp services make sure that you don't make any spelling mistake while specifying this particular property and uh, while specifying the file name as well so these are all steps required in order to create the spring boot project configure the google cloud dependencies and specify the location of the json file i'll just wrap up this video over here make sure you follow all the steps and create your project We'll soon start working with one of the example in Google Cloud Storage. Till then, take care and build something.